Okay, welcome back to Screen Print TV. Before we get started, take a minute to hit the subscribe button. If this is your first time to this channel, at the end of the video, please leave a comment, ask any questions, and hit that thumbs up button for me. That helps my channel. I appreciate it. Okay, today we're going to talk about the pocket flatten. This is a pocket flatten. This is what you use to print. I did a video, a koozie video. This is the same thing I used when I was doing the koozies, but it's actually for the left chest pockets on t-shirts. But you can also print koozies and you can even print sleeves with it and put small um, designs on sleeves. But today we're gonna to be actually using it for its made purpose, the pocket on a, on a shirt. So once again, I'm going to lower my camera so you guys can see what's going on down here. Okay, we have my camera lowered and how this attached, it has, this is how it's made at the bottom. And this is how it attaches to your, your platen. So we just slide it onto our platen like that. Just hold it flush and tighten it to two knobs at the bottom. Like this. Like that. And I got a mark here for my design. Sioux Fall. It's uh I'm going to take a measurement here real quick. It's about a half inch raised off your, off of your platen. So you have to keep that in consideration whenever you're setting up your screen. You have to lift your screen up a little bit to uh, accommodate for the lift of your, your t-shirt platen. Your pocket platen, not t-shirt platen, your pocket platen. Okay, we've got our screen set up. This is the same screen that I washed out in the last video. When I was washing out the 30 second washout video. This is the same screen. I got a video to post showing you the other half of this screen, the other part of this screen that I exposed. But today we're going to do the, the uh, I think it's a three inch logo. Because this right here is a, you have a three and a half inch area here. Yeah, my logo is just a, let me see what it is. Just a little bit under three inches. So that gives us plenty of space to lay our logo for our design on our platen. So what I do is I go to the screen. And I use a T square to check. I use a T square to make sure that everything is uh, straight and level. Because we want to make sure that everything falls as close to the center of the pocket as possible. But we also want to make sure that. It is straight on the pocket. So that's why I use the T square to come in and level. Okay, that looks good. Good. All right, we got our screen good and snug. And by the way, you don't ever want to over tighten these here. You just want to get them good and snug. Get a hold of the screen perfectly. Okay, everything looks good. Everything looks straight. Everything looks good and straight.
All right, we got our uh, screen set up. We got our platen set up. Now, I have a white t-shirt here. And I probably should, I wish I had another color t-shirt with a pocket on it because, well, you can see the pocket right there. This is our pocket right here. And what we do is, Take our shirt like this here, and we pull our pocket over, over our platen like this here, like that there. And we want to make sure that our pocket is straight across our platen. We can pretty much visualize that. Just make sure it's straight across like this here. And you can press your fingers on the side like this here to make sure that everything is pretty much centered like this here. Everything is centered like that. So once we get our pocket centered, and we could use some spray tack, some spray adhesive on this here, but I'm not because we're going to be printing just a, a black ink okay we have our squeegee here we're just going to take some ink out of the screen here we're going to come out here put our screen like we normally would and we lay this here down just making sure our pocket is straight across our platen up top here and make sure that it falls in the correct I should have checked it's going to fall in on the shirt uh, alright what we're going to do here is we're going to pull our platen back a little bit so it will fall a little bit lower a little bit lower on the pocket we're just going to slide it back like this here just a little bit here. Not much. And then we're going to re-tighten re our platen. Sometimes I talk away from the camera and my voice gets low. I noticed that in the 30-second 30, 30 washout uh, video. So I'm going to try not to do that. In this video, I'm going to try to talk loud enough so you guys can hear me. where we're at now and that should be good normally I would do a test shirt but since we're doing a video I always do a test print first get your old shirt or misprinted shirt and do a test print before you do this here but I already did that so I know the screen is printing good and we're just going to come here with our Squeegee and just do that number there and pop up our little pinholes here. But anyway, it's sitting a little low on the pocket. I maybe pulled it up a little too far, but it's okay. It can sit low on the pocket. There's no rule saying where it needs to sit on the pocket. It can sit up here, it can sit in the center, it can sit low on the pocket, but you do sort of want to keep it in the center of the pocket. So let me, let me get the old trusted blow dryer out, or heat gun. And that should be good. That should be good. All right, let me put the camera back up here. All 
All right, we have our pocket print on our shirt. And I set the uh, ink with my blow dryer. I keep calling that heat gun a blow dryer. With my heat gun. Okay. And this is what we have here. Like I said, it's sitting a little low in the pocket. That's why you do a, a test print. And I did a test print to make sure that the screen was printing good. But I didn't do one to, uh, for a pocket adjustment. You should do one for your pocket adjustment to make sure everything's right before you do your production run. But it's a little low in the pocket, but it is center in the pocket. And so that's how that works. And like I said, you have a three and a half inch print area wide but long i guess you can print as long as the as big as the pocket is without going off the pocket so that would be your print area the side of the pocket on the shirt and if you're doing a sleeve you can use this to uh put small designs on the sleeve you have a, a three and a half inch wide area the long area is probably six inches so you have a, like, probably like a three by three by six. Well, actually about hmm, seven and a half, a little over seven and a half. So you got about seven and a half long and three and a half inch wide. But you're not gonna use all the area when you print. So yeah, you probably got about six inches by three, three inches of print area. And that is our finished product on the pocket. Like I said, it's a little low on the pocket, but it still work. But if I was gonna do a production run, I would use this as a, a guide to let me know that I need to lift that design up a little bit to bring it up farther to the top. Maybe let it land about right here where the bottom of my finger is, so it'd be more centered. Now, if you want to know where you can get this from, if you don't already know, ask me in the comment section. I'm trying to get people to be more engaging in my videos, so if you want to know where you can get one of these from, leave a comment below and I will tell you. And I know if one person asks and somebody else reads the comment, they say, okay, well, I know. So I'm going to wait until I get 15 comments. Once I get 15 comments, then I will answer everybody's question where to get this from if you don't already know. Okay, so help me out. Be engaging. Leave some questions. Hit the thumb up. Thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And there will be some more video choices that come up at the end of this video. And you can click on one of those and watch some other videos or there's a little circle in the corner. I don't know if it's in that corner or that corner. You click on that and some more videos will drop down that you can, that you can also watch. So, uh, and that little circle with my shop on it, you can hit that at the end of the video and subscribe also if you're watching this video and you want to see what direction we go in and because I'm be showing all kinds of information which is some of it's going to be real strange uh, some of you probably ain't never seen before but it's going to be on this channel so subscribe and um, leave a comment so I can tell you where I got this from thank you guys for taking a minute a few minutes to watch this and enjoy me I do appreciate it and I will be posting another video and try to post more videos, at least one a week, if not two. I got some videos that I have not posted yet, but I'm going to try to keep posting new stuff and I'm going to try to post some different stuff. I know there's a lot of screen print channels out there that's posting stuff, but I'm going to try to do some stuff that I'm going to be doing some of the same stuff that they're doing. I may go in a little bit deeper detail or they may cover it in more detail than me. But I am going to be doing some stuff that they're not talking about also. So stay tuned. Thank you, guys.